Carlos and Dave Anime Rave. Dave, the question. Yeah? What is your top magical girl show? Uh, right now? Yeah. This one. Oh, I thought you I thought you were going to say Yuki Yuna, and then I was going to say what's your number two, and then you were going to say this one. But okay. Right, right now, this one. Star vs. the Forces of Evil, the first couple episodes were a delight. It's like, uh, the best way to describe it is if, uh, a, <laughs> it's Mabel Pines from Gravity Falls, slightly crazier, made into a magical girl. Mabel Pines on that sugar rush that she was on uh, that yeah, one episode. On that sugar powder. Given magic. <laughs> Yeah, given magical girl powers. Uh, this show is already better than Sailor Moon Crystal. And uh, it's, it's it's a really funny magical girl show that really isn't a magical girl show. This is more like a... Well, I don't know. I've heard that this show gets really good in the brief amount of episodes it has, actually. <laughs> and, now, and, and Steven Universe great. started dropping philosophical bombs on episode three, so... Yep. And as you will have already heard by the time this one comes out, if you've watched the previous one covering episodes one and two, um, I found a new way specifically for this show to drive Carlos nuts. And I'm going to continue the trend for this entire series. Somebody help me. Somebody. Okay. Uh, I'm, be I'm being real with you listeners right now. Perhaps Mayor? some of you, Liam Neeson, if you're listening, have a particular set of skills. Call me. Me. Yeah. I might have a job for you. Me. Yeah. ASAP, please. Me. Yeah. Uh, spoilers in offensive language, though we're going to try to tone down the offensive language on this one. As this is a Disney show. Mm -hmm. It's going to be hard because Dave has this is like a little kid who found the noisemaker. So somebody help me, please. Somebody help. S send help. Right away. Me. On with the show. Me. Yeah. Me. Double check. Make sure there's no sharp objects around Carlos. <laughs> We're good. I do love the fact that everybody knows she's a magical girl. It's like the opposite of Buffy. No need to hide it. Everybody just accepts it. And <laughs> can you imagine it's cool? It's like, hey, it's Sailor Moon. Hi, Sailor Moon. You saved me the other day! He deserved both of those because he was being a creep. You want to you wanna confirm if that's a yes or no? I can see your face, unfortunately. But the listeners at home cannot, unfortunately. Yes, I agree. Thank you. Yeah. Creepy. You're right, Star is a little creepy. That too. You know... Since Disney was so insistent on making Zangief a bad guy for Wreck-It Ralph, I'm just going to come out right now and say that the guy with the Zangief voice there should have been Zangief. What a fit. Mm -hmm. And if he was, then at some point we could see a spinning pile driver. We may still see it. Oh yeah, in this show? In this economy? Absolutely. I mean, meh. Yeah, I mean... Uh... <laughs> I'm just going to say it's going to happen. <laughs> it might. And it, it's going to be the nicest place she can think of. Or it's a secret government conspiracy or something, and this crosses over with Gravity Falls, Carlos? Yeah, send her to Gravity Falls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would be bad for Gravity Falls. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. So, uh, two things. First of all, they seem to have a lot more trouble taking them on this time. Obviously, they got some training. Secondly, I've been higher than a green belt with a stripe, and they never taught me how to use a rake to fight a giant chicken. You gotta learn what it means to anger the beast. And as soon as I make friends with Brock Lesnar, he's gonna take you to Suplex City. So I just want to point out something. Star <laughs> attempted to change her grade by wooing her teacher, ruined her teacher's life, and, you know, a lot of illegal things happened in this episode, and Star was the cause. Yep. Just saying. Like, she is very reckless with that infinity gem she has. <laughs> That's what she's got, too, is the freaking infinity gem. <sighs> 
She's gonna get herself in trouble really quick. Oh, really big trouble. Meh. <laughs> Just need to get the information without this is you. What's going on. This you is know, this is what I have to put up with. Yeah, all the time. I'm a great it's it, you're so lucky I tolerate you. <laughs> what am I ever intolerable? Name. And in fact, you know what? Don't answer that question. Don't worry, Sabrina. The spirit boys are gonna catch you. Grow some pom poms. Huh? <gasps> what the? Do these explode? Maybe we can set them on fire. Uh, we're kind of in the middle of something. You're the leader. What's the plan? <laughs> this year, we have a secret weapon. We're gonna distract them with our booty shaking dance moves. Uh -huh. Do you know nothing of combat? No warrior is gonna be distracted by Chantel's booty. What? Lucky for you. Yet another example of how insane Star is. <laughs> She's got a little bit of pun not intended Starfire in her. With this alien warrior race concept about taking things like that too literally, despite being the princess of what seemed to be a very, very kind of fey kingdom, yeah, yep. Uh, Marco proves that he is not afraid to kick uh, a creature in, in the face. In the face. Seriously, the, this is an okay reason to stay homesick. <laughs> Hey kid, I got a joke for you. <laughs> Just saying, you don't gotta tough this one out. <laughs> but then he wouldn't be there to protect her. Yeah, I guess. He's a responsible young man. So correct me if I'm wrong, but was this not the exact plot of Spider-Man 2? I'm gonna take your silence as a yes. I was thinking more of that anime that we started watching that I decided not to continue. Oh, uh, Parasite, or Kiseiju. Yeah. I was gonna mention that earlier, but I didn't know how appropriate the reference would be. Um, I think it's quite fun. Sure, fine. But yeah, this is the exact plot of, of Spider-Man 2, the arms are controlling him. Yeah. What? Really? You're gonna make, make the reference to Doc Ock in this? Were Doc Ock's arms not controlling him in that movie? Was Alfred Molina not trying to resist their influence? Yes, but I think my reference is a little bit better. I think your reference can shove it! Are you sure those are good? Uh, she is bringing up a very good point. A very good point. Because, you know, food poisoning and whatnot. I just threw up a little bit in my mouth. <laughs> mm. So great, we've got uncooked meat, egg, um... <laughs> Wet bread. The, 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 the two first ones are the real problem. <laughs> I like the show. Now, as for it becoming serious all of a sudden, or having weird, like, like bombs of logic, see, the image I saw online was it was one of those collective things where someone posts a bunch of images from a bunch of different cartoons from all parts of the world and talks about how awesome they are and the scene they showed from Star I don't think was one that I've seen in these episodes which is a little weird considering that apparently these are all of them right now maybe more are out that we don't know about I don't know no I looked that up so it's entirely possible though because human memory is the most fickle and totally not reliable thing ever that I saw something different. We can look up an episode guide real quick. Yeah, like literally. Episode 4 um, doesn't come out until the 13th. Then I had. Is in three days. Then I, I had to. Um, I had to have been thinking of something else. So my mistake, but I still really like this show. It's cute. It's cute. B beside the fact that I love dri driving you nuts with my new um, comments, it's cute. I do... Uh, let, let's be straight, though. It's no Gravity Falls. Well, no, but what is? What is? And it's probably on par with Steven Universe in my mind right now. Sure. It's just... It's nice. We haven't seen a lot of Steven Universe either, though, so I mean... Steven Universe has been around for a, lo for a, a longer than 
than yeah. we've seen. But I mean, four and a half episodes. Yep. So far, so good though. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Even if it kept this lightheartedness that's got right now, I wouldn't mind because it, this is just cute and fun. Indeed. Yeah, I liked it. I liked it. Folks, thank you so much for watching us watch this. CarlsonDayVanMaryF.com is your source for two fat guys watching animated shows from around the universe! Dave, tell the people what planets we've seen animation from. Japania. Unbelievable. 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 Americana? Pull the plug. The show's over. This whole show is over! <laughs> <laughs>